and this is BBC One. Here are the eight contestants preparing for tonight's show. These people have all appeared before on the Daily Weakest Link. In each case, they felt they were unfairly voted off by their fellow teammates and robbed of the chance to win. What? You crazy woman! I think obviously without me they're going to struggle. I think it's pretty obvious that they're all idiots. Tonight, these bad losers are back to have another go, but seven of them will leave with nothing, as once again, they're voted off as the weakest link. Welcome to the weakest link. The eight people in the studio here tonight are all bad losers. When they appeared on The Daily Show, they were voted off, in their opinion, unfairly. They've come back for another go. This time, they could win up to £20,000 if they work together as a team. But only one of them will take that money away. The rest of them will leave with nothing, as round by round we lose the player. Voted the weakest link. Let's meet the team. I'm Rob, a 26-year-old events manager from Hemel Hempstead. I'm CJ, a 30-year-old ex-model from Hove. I'm Gwynver, I'm 40, I'm from Maidstone and I'm a cleaner in a factory. I'm Sue, a 39-year-old accountant and childminder from Hitchin. I'm Terry, I'm 80 years of age, I'm a retired Air Force officer and I come from West Cot in Surrey. I'm Cliff, I'm 53 company director and I work in the saddle industry of Warsaw. I'm Heather, I'm 35, I come from Worcestershire and I'm a clinical physiologist. I'm Jeff, I'm 49 years of age, I'm from West Ealing, I'm a sales and marketing manager. Now the rules, in each round the aim is to answer enough questions correctly to reach your £2,500 target within the time limit. There are eight of you, so the fastest way to reach your target is to create a chain of eight correct answers. Get your question wrong and you break the chain and lose all the money in that chain. But if you say bank before the question is asked, the money is safe. However, you start a new chain from scratch. Remember, at the end of the round, only money that has been banked can be taken forward. In round one, there are two and a half minutes on the clock. We'll start with the person whose name is first alphabetically. That's you, CJ. Let's play The Weakest Link. The first question is for £50. Start the clock. CJ, what name is given to a small circular window in the side of a ship? Porthole. Correct. Grinfer. In motor racing, who became Formula One champion for the first time in 1994? Pass. Michael Schumacher. Sue, in religion, from which country did Buddhism originate? India. Correct. Terry, in science, the desalination process removes what from seawater? Salt. Correct. Cliff, in America, what are Yosemite and Yellowstone? Parks. Correct. For Heather, in pop music, who did Chuck Berry ask to roll over? Pass. Beethoven. Jeff, in nature, the impatience plant is commonly known as busy what? Lizzie. Correct. Rob, in the fairy tale, what was placed under the girl's mattress to test whether she was really a princess? He. Correct. CJ, in the animal kingdom, Panthera tigris is the Latin name for which member of the cat family? Panther. Tiger. Gwynfer, in which African country might you celebrate Kenyatta Day in Nairobi? South Africa. Kenya. Sue, large format newspapers are called broadsheet small format papers are called what tabloids correct terry in which u.s state was fashion designer calvin klein born in 1942 uh, new york state correct Cliff. Bank. complete the title of the 1938 film starring james cagney and humphrey bogart angels with dirty what faces correct heather who was british prime minister at the time of the profumo scandal in 1963 and resigned later that year Helen mcmillan correct jeff in music, what F is the colloquial term for the violin? Sorry, repeat that. In music, what F is the colloquial term? Fiddle. Correct. Rob. Bank. Which word can describe both a type of aeroplane and a black mineral used in jewellery? Opal. Jet. CJ, what is the name of BBC One's regular early Sunday evening religious program? Songs of Praise. Correct. Grimfer. In literature, which detective chief inspector is based in the fictional town of Kings Markham? 
Caritas. Wexford. Sue, the ancient trade route, the Silk Road, linked Europe and which Asian country? Japan. China. Terry. In the hey. animal kingdom, the shoveler duck gets its name from its rounded spade-like what? Bill. Beak. But I'll accept Bill. Clerk. Which word can describe both a bike with high handlebars and a helicopter? Pass. Chopper. Heather, what do Americans call what the British call curtains? Drapes. Correct, Jeff. In film, which comedy brothers start? Time is up. I cannot complete the question. And in that round, team, you banked an exceedingly disappointing £350. You could, of course, have won £2,500. The question is, who's no better this time than they were last time? In other words, who was lousy then? And who is lousy still? My viewers are about to leave with nothing. It's time to vote off the weakest link. Having answered the most questions correctly, Terry is the strongest link statistically. The weakest link is Grimva, the only member of the team to get all his answers wrong. But will the votes follow the facts? Voting over, it's time to reveal who you think is the weakest link. Grimva. Gwynfa. Heather. Gwynfa. CJ. Gwynfa. 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 Rob. A bit frightened, are you? Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> so, one question right, one question wrong. Halfway there. Why Gwynfa? Um, I think he was very unlucky, he didn't get any questions right. You just got the one right. I just got the one right. <laughs> Cliff, why Gwynfa? Why, why not? You would have voted him out if you would have been in my place. Now why did you vote him out? Why did I vote him out? Well, he didn't get a single question right. I see. Gwynfa! Yes? Your podium says, Heather Sia. <laughs> <laughs> That would be dependent on Heather being voted off. Yes, it would have. Yes, it would have done. Well, it will be, because statistics show you're the worst player. And with six votes, you are the weakest link. Goodbye. Questioning I get my leg pulled over, I think, is the South African question. They've got a brother out in South Africa. I should know these things. Uh, the person I'd uh, like to see off next is CJ, and he's got on my nerves totally all day, because all he talked about is being a male model. I've looked at him and thought to myself, what's he been modelling? Saucepans? Round two, team, and out of two and a half thousand pounds you could have won, you have in the bank £350, so it's debatable whether your journeys this evening were really worthwhile. There were seven of you left. We are now taking ten seconds off the clock. We start with the strongest link from the last round. That's you, Terry. Let's play the weakest link. Start the clock. Terry, what V involves throwing your voice so that it appears to come from a dummy? Ventriloquism. Correct. Cliff. In food, what are pecans and pistachios? Nuts. Correct, Heather. In pop music, complete the title of the 1960s song by the searchers, Sweets for My What? Sweets for My Sweet. Correct, Jeff. Which climbing plant, often planted to cover walls, has the scientific name Hedrahelix? Um, pass, sir. Ivy. Rob, in the human body, what area is the canal through which food passes to be digested and absorbed? Esophagus. Elementary. CJ. The District of Beverly Hills is one of many that make up which US city? Los Angeles. Correct, Sue. Which children's TV show first broadcast in 1974 featured Gabriel the Toad and Professor Yaffle? Bagpuss. Terry. What S is the term used for a speed greater than the local speed of sound? Sonic. Supersonic. Cliff. In politics, who returned to Parliament by winning the Kensington and Chelsea by-election in November 1999? Pass. Michael Portillo, Heather, which river valley containing Tintern Abbey is designated an area of outstanding natural beauty? News. Why? Geoffrey, in maths, what is 100 times 100 times 100? Um, 10,000. 1 million. Rob, which flightless Australian bird takes its name from the Portuguese word for ostrich? Ostrich. Emu. Yeah. CJ, members of which 70s pop group worked with Sir Tim Rice on the musical Chess? 
Abba. Correct, Sue. In history, which King of England met King Francis I of France in 1520 at the Field of the Cloth of Gold? James I. Henry VIII. Terry, in sport, which game is played on horseback on a field of 300 yards by 160 yards? Hello. Correct, Cliff. Which female actress played the role of Maggie Pollitt in the 1958 film Cat on a Hot Tin Roof? Fonda. Elizabeth Taylor, Heather. In ancient Roman religion, for how long did Vestal virgins have to serve the chief priest before they were allowed to marry? 10, 20 or 30 years? 30 years. Correct. Jeff, Bang. in theatre, which J is another term for a clown or fool? Jester. Correct. Rob, what Bang. R is the common term for possessing discarded paper and glass for reuse? Recycle. Correct. Bang. Time is up. And you missed out on another £2,500 in that round. You managed to bank just £150. Who is most responsible for that pathetic amount that has been put in the bank? Who is completely out of their debts? Who are you ashamed of? One of you is about to leave with nothing. It's time to vote off the weakest link. In this round, CJ is the strongest link, as he answered all his questions correctly. Sue is this round's weakest link, as she didn't get a single question right. But will the rest of the team have noticed? Voting over. It's time to reveal who you think is the weakest link. Jeff. Sue. Jeff. Rob. Jeff. Jeff. Cliff. Terry, what's your profession? I'm retired. Right, before you retired. I was in the RAF. Right. <laughs> you didn't tell me about Sonic and Supersonic, I know. I'm sorry? You were going to talk about Sonic and Supersonic. And do I you did know the know. difference between Sonic do, and Supersonic? I do, I do. Were you keeping it a secret? No, it was a slip, it was a slip of the tongue. A slip of the tongue. Rob. Um, How do you think you did that time? I got one right and mm. two wrong, mm. I think. What are your hobbies? Um, playing football mainly. What else? Um, I just started getting into some magic. No, not much magic about that last no, before. No, <laughs> Did you think Jeff was worse than you? We both got one right, but I think he lost us more money. Sue, you're an accountant and a childminder. Yes, I am. Never heard about children's TV? Bag puss? I think it might be more your era than mine. It certainly wasn't my era. So you can only answer questions from a certain period, can you? Well, certainly during the time I'm alive, yes. And I suppose you only know the geography of places you've been to as well, do you? <laughs> Jeff, with four votes, you are the weakest link. Goodbye. I do like to win. I hate to lose. I am a bad loser. I think I don't like good losers because a good loser is a loser, and uh, I want to be a winner. And um, so no, I don't. I don't like coming on here and, and getting voted off so quickly. Very annoying. I think in the next round that they should vote off Sue. She hasn't got a question right. How she has the nerve to vote for me, I, I just is beyond me. I'm I'm at a loss at the moment to uh, describe my feelings. Round three, team. So far, you have won an embarrassing £500. You could have won by now £5,000. You are down to six players. We are taking another ten seconds off the clock. We'll start with the strongest link from the last round, that's CJ. Let's play the weakest link. Start the clock. CJ, in which US TV comedy series does one of the main characters, Herman, have a bolt through his neck? The Munsters. Correct, Sue. Mainframe, personal and laptop are all types of what? Computer. Correct. Terry, which African river whose name means black was first explored by the Scottish explorer Mungo Park? Niger. Correct. Cliff, with what musical instrument is Julian Lloyd Webber mostly associated? Cello. Correct. Heather. Bank. The Lake District town of Keswick is at the northern end of which lake? Windermere. Derwent Water. Rob, which pop group had a UK hit with Get Off My Cloud in 1965? Mungo Jerry. Rolling Stones, CJ, in food from which continent do satay dishes originate? 
Asia. Correct, Sue. In literature, whose novels of country life includes The Rector's Wife and A Village Affair? Jane Austen. Joanna Trollope. Terry. In the animal kingdom, which L is a member of the cat family distinguished by its sharp, pointed, tufted ears and its short, stubby tail? Leopard. Lynx. Cliff. Which Yorkshire city includes Ilkley Moor within its boundaries? Morton. Bradford. Heather, who is the leader of the Palestine Liberation Organization? Yasser Arafat. Correct, Rob. In what decade was the Sears Tower in Chicago built to become the world's tallest building at that time? 60s. 1970s, CJ. Which American president was the subject of Oliver Stone's 1995 film starring Anthony Hopkins in the title role? Nixon. Correct, Sue. To early motorists, the Model T Ford was popularly known as a tin what? Tin Wagon. Tin Lizzie. Terry, the towns of Peyton and Brixham are on the shores of which bay in Devon? Oh, um, pass. Tor Bay. Cliff, which W is a mysterious light sometimes seen at night in marshy areas? Pass. Will of the Wisp. Heather, does the term hoi polloi describe the masses or the nobility? Nobility. The masses. Rob, the letter CBE indicate commander of the order of the what? British Empire. Correct, CJ. In TV, which former Blue Peter presenter went on to co-present the money program? Pass. Valerie Singleton, Sue. Time is up. A modest improvement. You bank 500 pounds. But who is well past their best? Who's done nothing but cost you money since they arrived this evening? Whoever it is, I advise you to dispatch them without delay. <laughs> it's time to vote off the weakest link. For the second round in a row, CJ is statistically the strongest link, having answered the most questions correctly. Once again, Sue is the weakest link. She only got one question right and lost the team the most money. Can she survive another vote? Voting over, it's time to reveal who you think is the weakest link. Heather. Cliff. Terry. Rob. Sue. Sue. Terry. Do you watch wildlife programmes, do you? Uh, yes. You don't know about lynx cats, then? Oh, yes. So why did you say leopard? It shot out before I could stop it. How do you think you're doing now that you've come back on this program, having made a fuss that you were voted uh, off last time? All right until this round, and this round I didn't do as well as I should. Before that I thought I was doing reasonably well. How do you think you're doing, Cliff? Well, as a team, we're not getting enough money, that's true. How do you think you're doing, Cliff? I'm still in. Just? Just, yes. But I'm still in. Why Sue? Why not? I mean, she had a bad round last time and she's had a bad round the round before. So, Sue's got to go. Statistically, Sue, you were the worst player. And with two votes, you are the weakest link. Goodbye. I'm probably going to be ribbed about that, that, that question about the novels because I try and make a point of learning who wrote what and obviously my learning didn't pay off this time. I think it should be CJ that comes off next because he's a bit of a know-all and I'd like to see him off the team. Round 40, your performance so far has only just been a bit above terrible. You've banked £1,000 out of potential prize money of £7,500. There are five of you left. We are taking another ten seconds off the clock. You now have only two minutes. We'll start with the strongest link from the last round, that's CJ. Let's play the weakest link. Start the clock. CJ, what F is the main raw ingredient of the Japanese dishes sashimi and sushi? Fish. Correct, Terry. How is the statue the Angel of Charity in Piccadilly Circus better known? Eros. Correct, Cliff. Which German tennis player was, in 1988, the last woman to win the Grand Slam? Steffi Graf. Correct, Heather. Which British Prime Minister, cousin of Rudyard Kipling, was in power during the 1936 abdication crisis? Churchill. Stanley Baldwin. 
Rob, in fashion, what D are tight, narrow trousers first popular with men in the 1950s? Drain pipe. Correct. CJ, in literature, who wrote the story 2001, A Space Odyssey? Arthur C. Clarke. Correct. Terry, the capuchin is a species of which animal? Monkey. Correct. Clank. In which century did British sovereigns start sending messages of congratulations to those celebrating their 100th birthday? 20th. Correct. Heather. In mythology, what name is given to the three-pronged fork carried by Neptune? Trident. Correct. Rob. Bank. Jesmond Dean and Town Moor are open spaces in which northern English city? York. Newcastle upon Tyne. CJ, which singer who died in 1965 had a singing daughter called Natalie? Natkin Cole. Correct. Terry. In film, which actor played the role of Captain Ahab in the 1956 film adaptation of Melville's Moby Dick? Pass. Gregory Peck. Cliff. In cricket, googlies and Chinamen are both types of what? Bowling. Correct. Heather. Bank. Scrofula, a disease of the lymph nodes, was historically known as the king's what? Plague. King's evil. Rob, in geography, the name of which South American country translates to mean Little Venice? Paraguay. Venezuela. CJ, what name is given to the instrument which measures the altitude of an aircraft? Altimeter. That was the correct answer, but you are out of time, and in that round, team, you managed to bank just £350. Who is seriously holding you back? It's time to vote off the weakest link. For the first time in the game, Cliff is the strongest link. He answered all his questions correctly and banked the most money for the team. Heather is statistically the weakest link in this round, but who will the team vote off? Voting over, it's time to reveal who you think is the weakest link. Heather. Rob. Heather. Heather. Rob. Team, just to remind you that your performance so far has been rubbish. Cliff, don't like Heather? I think the questions she had were bad, but she got more questions wrong than anybody else. Rob, what's that stupid face you've drawn? I was just trying to cheer Heather up. Why Heather? Um, I just think she did a little bit worse than I did. Not oh. much. Cause... No, that's right. Because you did pretty badly, didn't I you, did. Rob? Heather? Statistics show you're the worst player. Three votes. You are the weakest link. Goodbye. Being voted off the weakest link at this stage is a bit annoying. There are people out there who are pretty bad. I think CJ will win. He has an a very sad encyclopedic knowledge of all sorts of things and he knows the top 10 British chess players which is deeply sad. I think the team will vote Rob off next. He's letting them down, he's had a lot of easy questions that he's got wrong and he, he should go, definitely. Round 5 team, if you'd hit your targets you would have in the bank by now £10,000. You haven't. Your total so far is £1,350, almost a record, I think, at this stage of a game. <laughs> so the idea that you were misjudged last time is beginning to sound very unbelievable. There are four of you left. Another ten seconds is coming off the time. We start with the strongest link from the last round. That's Cliff. Let's play the weakest link. Start the clock. Cliff, in religion, what P is a tower often found in Buddhist temple enclosures? Pass. Pagoda. Rob, which American state is nicknamed the last frontier owned to its location? Texas. Alaska. CJ, what J is a get-together for scouts? Jamboree. Correct. Terry, in food, which fruit is dried to make prunes? Plums. Correct. Cliff, in 1966, in which country did Prince Charles, aged 17, attend a school called Timbertop? Australia. Correct. Rob, in literature known as Lorenzo in Italy, who wrote the novel Women in Love in 1920? Don't know. D.H. Lawrence, C.J. The Benelux countries comprise Belgium, the Netherlands, and which other nation? Luxembourg. Correct. Terry, in TV, Roscoe P. Coltrane was the name of the sheriff in which American series? Pass. Dukes of Hazard, Cliff. In biology, what A is the term which refers to organisms that are not dependent on oxygen for respiration? Antibody. 
Anaerobic. Rob. In the arts, what is George Heppelwhite known for? Furniture design or sculpture? Furniture design. Correct. CJ, how many gold medals did Great Britain win in total at the Sydney Olympics? 16. 11. Terry, in opera, what airs a song for a solo voice? Alto. Aria. Cliff, who is the current father of the House of Commons? Pass. Sir Edward Heath. Rob, what type of pen is made from the hollow main shaft of a feather? A quill. Correct, CJ. In October this year, which TV personality received the stolen Enigma code machine in a parcel? Jeremy Paxman. Correct. Terry, in history, Queen Alexandra, consort of King Edward VII, originally came from which country? Denmark. Correct. Cliff. Bank. In nature, song and missile are both species of which garden bird? Thrush. Correct. Thrush. Time's up, and in that round, you managed to bank £300. But who is holding you back? Who can't do the job? Who is an embarrassment? Who is actually worse than the rest of you? <laughs> One of you is about to leave with nothing. It's time to vote off the weakest link. Having answered the most questions correctly, CJ is the strongest link for the third time in the game. The weakest link is Cliff, as he got the most questions wrong, although he was the only player to bank any money for the team. Will this save him when it comes to the voting? Voting over, it's time to reveal who you think is the weakest link. Cliff. Rob. 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 CJ. Yes. Why Rob? Well, I think his hair says it all. I mean, somebody with that style has to go. Terry, why Rob? I felt he didn't do very well on that round. Cliff. Yes? Your performance slipped badly in that last round. Why? I'll have to go into a corner and wear a dunce's hat, I suppose. <laughs> Statistically, does it surprise you to know you're the worst player? No. No. Rob, there was absolutely nobody else on the team who didn't want to get rid of you. So I see. With three votes, you are the weakest link. Goodbye. The last time I was on, the questions seemed a little bit easier. And, you know, watching it on TV between then and now has been a doddle. I've sort of been answering the questions. But today, they just seem very hard for some reason. I least want CJ to win because he took the mick out of me. How can he take the mick out of me? I've seen him. And he's just, he's just seems very big headed. He goes on about this and that. Round six, and you have £1,650 out of the £12,500 you could have won by now. Three of you left, another 10 seconds coming off the time. We'll start with the strongest link from the last round, that's CJ. Let's play the weakest link. Start the clock. CJ, which Lancashire actress played Bubble in the TV series Absolutely Fabulous? Jane Horrocks. Correct, Terry. And so to bed was a signing offline used by which historic diarist? Peeps. Correct, Cliff. What is the nationality of the artist Jasper Johns, born in 1930? French. American. CJ, in 1784, Vincent Lunardi, accompanied by a dog, a cat and a pigeon, became the first person in Britain to travel successfully in what way? Balloon. Correct. Terry, in astronomy, Niad is the innermost and Nereid the outermost of the satellites of which planet? Saturn. Neptune. Cliff, in maths, what name is given to a quadrilateral in which all the sides are the same length and all angles are right angles? Triangle. Square. CJ, in children's literature, who ate turkey lurkey? Pass. Foxy Loxy. Terry, which actor connects the TV series Playing the Field and the Royal Family? I don't know. Ricky Tomlinson. Cliff, which Canadian city is the home of the University of British Columbia? Edmonton. Vancouver. CJ, which chain of shops once had a slogan, nothing over sixpence? Marks and Spencers. Woolworths. Terry, in which Commonwealth country is the form of football known as rules mainly played? Australia. Correct. Cliff, on which part of the body would you wear gaiters? On your legs. Lower legs. I'll accept that. CJ, which DJ and radio presenter was born John Ravenscroft on Merseyside in 1939? John Peel. Correct, Terry. 
The statue of Christ the Redeemer overlooks which Brazilian city? Rio de Janeiro. That was the correct answer, but time was up. And in any case, in that round, you banked absolutely nothing. In round seven, you get the chance to double what you bank, but that will require you to bank something first. <laughs> that means in the next round, there is 5,000 pounds to be won. The question is, and this will be very, very tricky, who isn't up to it? None of us. Who is most likely to let you down? All of us. It's hard to believe any of you can cope with the pressure, but I suggest it's time to vote off the weakest link. For the fourth time in the game, CJ is the strongest link statistically. For the second time in a row, Cliff is the weakest link, as he got the most answers wrong. Will the team have noticed this time? Voting over, it's time to reveal who you think is the weakest link. Cliff. Cliff. CJ. CJ. Why Cliff? He got more questions wrong than anybody else. You don't mind his hair? Um, well, there's not that much of it, let's be honest. <laughs> Terry. Why Cliff? I felt he did a little bit worse than I did. Okay. Cliff. Yes? You've run out of luck, haven't you? It happens to everybody. Mm. You win some, you lose some. Well, statistically, you were the worst player. Then with two votes, you are the weakest link. Goodbye. Most of the questions I got wrong, I'm going to be ribbed over it was last time. But I mean, you've got to make an instant decision. If you don't make an instant decision and you delay, you're dead. So you've got two choices. Get it right or get it wrong. The question that particularly galled me getting wrong was triangle. I mean, I'm going to get uh, images sent over the fax machine, I'm sure, when this goes out. I think CJ is going to win. I mean, his overall knowledge is phenomenal. So he's going to walk away with the money. Round seven. And of the £15,000 you could have won by now, you have managed a not very impressive 1650 CJ and Terry, just the two of you left. At this time, you have only 90 seconds. But whatever you win in this round will be doubled and added to your total to make up your final prize money. £5,000, therefore, is at stake in this round. We start with the strongest link from the last round, that's CJ. Let's play the weakest link. Start the clock. CJ in TV, which chef will take over next year as host of MasterChef? Ainsley Harriet. Gary Rhodes. Terry, in which US city is the National Air and Space Museum? Um, Washington. Correct. CJ, in literature, which popular novelist also used the pseudonym Catherine Marchant? Jane Austen. Catherine Cookson. Terry, which designer won a Vogue Fashion Award this year, which was handed to her by her father? Uh, Linda McCartney. Stella McCartney. Oh. CJ, Las Palmas is the largest port in which island group in the Atlantic Ocean? Canaries. Correct. Terry, which bird, a resident of Britain, can be pied, grey or yellow? Wagtail. Correct. CJ, the old town of Edo is found in the heart of which Japanese city? Tokyo. Correct. Terry, in pop music, whose album but seriously entered the UK charts at number one in 1989? Pass. Phil Collins. CJ, in mythology, which time of the day is the Greek goddess Eos said to personify dusk or dawn? Dawn. Correct. Terry, in nature, the flower, the tea rose, is native to which country? England. China. CJ. History is more or less bunk according to a famous saying by which American car maker? Henry Ford. Correct. Terry. Which sweet was originally made from chickel, the latex sap of a tree? Time's up, team. And you didn't make it to two and a half thousand pounds. You won precisely nothing. So there's nothing to double. That means total prize money this evening 
of £1,650. But of course only one of you can take that money away. So you will now be playing against each other head to head. I'll ask alternate questions. It's the best of five. Whoever answers the most questions correctly wins. It's as simple as that. If there's a tie after five questions, each will go for sudden death until we have a winner. So, CJ and Terry for £1,650. Let's play The Weakest Link. CJ is the strongest link in the last round. You have the choice of who goes first. I'd like Terry to go first, please. Terry. In the late 14th century, John Wycliffe produced the first English version of which book? The Bible. That is the correct answer. CJ. In the animated film Chicken Run, who voiced the character of Rocky? Mel Gibson. That is the correct answer. Terry. The Metropolitan District Railway was the first line on which British transport network? The London Underground. That is the correct answer. CJ. In which year will Queen Elizabeth II celebrate her golden jubilee? 2002. That is the correct answer. Let me remind you that you are playing for £1,650. You are not fighting the clock. You can take as long as you like. Terry. At the Sydney Olympics, what was the first name of the swimmer who won his 100 metres heat despite taking over a minute longer than the Olympic record? Pass. The correct answer is Eric. CJ. Which English county has no borders with any other. The Isle of Wight. That is the correct answer. Terry. Former Miss Great Britain, Layla Williams and Christopher Trace were the original presenters of which children's television program? Blue Peter. That is the correct answer. CJ. Which seaside town gave entertainer Eric Bartholomew his stage name? Morecambe. That is the correct answer. Terry, you need to answer this question correctly to stay in the game. Otherwise, CJ goes home with £1,650. Which Elvis Presley hit begins... Well, bless my soul, what's wrong with me? Don't tread on my blue suede shoes. The correct answer is all shook up. <laughs> well done. That means, CJ, you are today's strongest link and you go away with £1,650. Terry, you leave with nothing. Absolutely. Join us again for The Weakest Link. Goodbye. I don't begrudge CJ his win. Good luck to him. He did well. He answered his questions correctly and I didn't. Had I had Terry's questions, I would still have won. I knew the answers to all four that he was asked. Um, that was my main worry about being asked to go first or second, just to get the wrong set. But fortunately, I was so much better than him that it really didn't matter.